The American College of Medical Genetics is very happy to provide genetics in your health, a series of short videos to explain to you how genes translate into health. For more information on genetics in your health, please visit the American College of Medical Genetics website at www.acmg.net. Welcome to Genetics in Your Health. The American College of Medical Genetics is pleased to provide a short series of videos on topics in genetics in your health. Today we'd like to welcome Dr. Bruce Korf, the President of the American College of Medical Genetics. Welcome Dr. Korf. Thank you. Dr. Korf, we're hearing a lot of questions about direct-to-consumer genetic tests, tests that can be order ordered by phone or over the internet. Can you tell me what does the public need to know about direct-to-consumer genetic tests? We're going through an explosion of knowledge about the role of genes in health and disease, and now there are an increasing number of tests that can be offered that can in some cases be used to predict what, whether an individual is at risk of disease or to make a diagnosis. The front of knowledge is moving so rapidly that to a substantial extent now, the public is being inundated with opportunities to engage in testing and direct-to-consumer testing involves companies that now are advertising in the general media to the general public encouraging people to send samples in for testing. It offers on the one hand a great opportunity for people to learn things about themselves but on the other hand it offers some significant risks we believe because not all of the information right now is sort of ready for prime time, not all of it is fully understood and I think the complexity of this is very easy to underestimate. And because of that, I think there's a real need for professional involvement for healthcare professionals who are sophisticated about genetics and genomics, who can help interpret the information that people will be otherwise um, potentially overwhelmed with. Dr. Korf, we're hearing uh, about tests, everything from whether you'll excel in sports to uh, whether you might go bald or um, define your perfect mate. How can the, the public get some advice on whether a direct-to-consumer genetic test or any genetic test is right for them? We know that genes play a major role in health and disease, and they also have a role in common traits, some of the ones that you mentioned. On the other hand, we need to remember that genes are not the whole story, and that um, individual athletic ability, just to choose one example, is a complicated combination of genetic and non-genetic, psychological, behavioral factors, many, many things. And I think we, we really do need to be careful not to make the assumption that our genes are the whole story. And here again, I, I really think that consumers can gain a great deal from working in partnership with genetic professionals who really do, I think, understand the complexity of many of these traits and can help to provide guidance and balance. Are there any tips or guidelines that the public might be able to go to for more information on evaluating a, a direct-to-consumer genetic test? Well, in fact, the American College of Medical Genetics does maintain um, a set of guidelines and practice um, recommendations that are involved with direct-to-consumer testing. They're available on the American College of Medical Genetics website, so we would definitely um, encourage people to look there. Excellent. And if someone would like more information on the ACMG guidelines on direct-to-consumer tests, please go to our website at www.acmg.net. Thank you for watching our segment on genetics in your health. For more information on genetics in your health, please visit the American College of Medical Genetics website at www.acmg.net.